Hi friends. This book I'm going to read today is called Scaredy Squirrel and Scaredy Squirrel would rather stay in his safe and familiar tree. He doesn't like to venture outside. He gets kind of a little scared. So one day something happens that is not part of his plan. You know who I have here today with me? Look who I have. I have Scaredy Squirrel right here. He's saying hi. Scaredy Squirrel, why are you wearing a mask? Oh wait, he can't tell you because he's got his mask on. So let's take his mask off because he doesn't need to wear his mask right now. Let's see. There he is. Hi, Scaredy Squirrel. Hi, friends. Are you going to be helping us with our story today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to help you read. Can I help you read? Oh, for sure. You want to have him help us read too? Yep, they want to have you help read too. So let's see. Let's start with our book. It says, Warning! Scaredy Squirrel wants everybody to wash their hands with antibi antibiotic soap before touching this book. He's really scared of germs. He does not like germs, huh, Squirrel? Mm -mm. He does not like to get dirty. I washed my hands before I read, I opened this book. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. He likes to stay cozy in his nut tree. Here is the unknown outside. <gasps> He'd rather stay in his tree, safe and familiar tree, than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be scary place for Squirrel. He's scared. Are you scared? He's scared. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Spiders. Oh! Poison ivy. Oh! Martians, green Martians, they're not even real. Oh, they're so scary. Bees. Germs and sharks. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh, scaredy squirrel. I don't know. Some of those things seem a little scary, but some of those I'm not so scared of. So he's perfectly happy staying right where he is in his nut tree. So, the good thing about staying in his tree is that he has a great view. He can see right outside his window, right here. He has plenty of nuts and it's very safe. Safe for him to stay and warm. Right, Scaredy Squirrel? So some of the things that he doesn't like about staying in his tree, nut, nut tree house all the time is that he always gets the same view. He's always eating the same nuts and he's always in the same old place. He never goes anywhere new. Isn't that kind of boring, Scary Squirrel? Aren't you kind of bored of staying in the same place? Yeah, kind of. Don't you want to go outside and venture into somewhere else? Oh, I don't know. It's kind of scary out there. All right. Well, let's see. So on Monday, he stays on top of the tree. On Tuesday, he stays on top of the tree. On Thursday, I mean, on Wednesday, sorry, he goes under the tree. On Thursday, He's going on the side of the tree. 
And then on Friday, he's back on top. On Saturday, he goes under. And on Sunday, he's back on top. Scary Squirrel Nut Tree every day is the same. Everything is predictable. Always under control. Always doing the same thing. Scaredy Squirrel daily routine. So he wakes up at 6.45. At 7 o'clock, he eats a nut. At 7.15, he looks at his view. At 12 o'clock, he eats another nut. At 12.30, he takes a look at the view outside. At two o'clock, he eats a nut. At two, 5.30, he looks at the view. And then at eight o'clock, he goes to sleep. Wow, he does everything the same. He just wakes up, takes a look with his binoculars, eats a nut, takes a look at his binoculars outside, eats a nut. Wow, he doesn't do a lot of different things, does he? Does the same old thing every day. Boring. But let's just say, for example, that something unexpected did happen. Look, he's thinking, ooh, that's a light bulb. Like, ooh, something is different's gonna happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is gonna be prepared. What do you think this is? It has a red X on it. This is called a first aid kit. It usually has things like band-aids and medicine and um, things to wrap your ankle if it gets sore and ice packs in case you get a bump on your head, all things for yourself if you get hurt and to help you when you get hurt. So it's his emergency kit. So a few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. So he has a parachute, hmm. some bug spray. That's a funny thing to have in your emergency kit. Some mask and rubber gloves, hmm, maybe a net, a hard hat, some antibacterial soap, because he does not like to be dirty, some chamomile lotion, that's if you get itchy rash, you can put something like that on, and sardines, you don't put food in the emergency pack, it's for when you get hurt. He's got some strange things in his back, in his emergency pack. What to do in case of an emergency, according to Scaredy Squirrel. So step one, he says, panic. Oh no, you don't panic when something doesn't go the right way. Panic. No. Step two, run. You don't run if you're gonna be getting into trouble. Oh, where are you going, Scaredy Squirrel? He's running, he ran away. Get the kit. Well, then he has to get his emergency kit that he showed us before. Remember that emergency kit with all of those strange things inside. Hmm. Put on kit. Oh my goodness. He's gonna put on all those strange things. He's got the hard hat, he's got the net, the rubber gloves, the mask. Oh, he had a mask, I remember when he came first came in. And his bug spray. I don't know what Scaredy Squirrel's worried about, but he's worried about a lot of things. And then exit the tree and make sure that there's no one or nothing out there. Look at that. He's ready to go outside now. I don't know about Scaredy Squirrel, but he's got a lot of things to, on him to go outside. He's so scared. He's protected. So this is his exit plan. If he has to get out of his tree. So it says first, he has to watch out for green Martians and killer bees. You really think there's green Martians and killy bee, killer bees out there, scaredy squirrel? Uh-huh. I don't know about that. Then he says, avoid rivers, 
and make sure you have your sardines. I don't know. I thought squirrels ate nuts. Then look for poison ivy and spiders. I guess he doesn't like spiders. And the last thing, make sure you bring your antibacterial soap because scaredy squirrel does not like germs. With his emergency kit on hand, scaredy squirrel watches day after day. He watches until one day <gasps> what does he see? Thursday at 9.37 a.m. What does he see? Oh, no. A killer bee appeared. Ah, he's running. Oh, Scary Girl's running again. He ran away. Oh, my gosh. Scary Girl, where are you going? Where are you going, Scary Squirrel? Killer bee. Oh my gosh, he's running from the killer bees. Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. Oh no, he lost his emergency kit. He doesn't have anything on. He's not wearing his gloves. He's not wearing his mask. He's not wearing his bug spray. He doesn't have his net. What's he gonna do? Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit, but something incredible happens. He jumps to go get the kit. He started to glide. Scaredy squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. Look at that. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, scaredy squirrel, forgets all about the killer bee. Not to mention the tarantula, poison ivy, green Martians, and germs, and sharks. He forgets all about them, because now he can fly. He's carefree, alive, until he, uh-oh, lands in a bush. And he plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, he's still playing dead. Finally, Scary Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes to his life. I wonder what he's gonna do. He's got a new improved schedule. Oh, so now he wakes up, he then eats a nut, he looks at his view, but now he jumps into the unknown. He's a flying squirrel, he can fly now. He can play dead, he can Return home, eat a nut, look at his view again, eat a nut, look at his view, and go to sleep. So one big thing changed. He can go outside now because he knows he can fly. But guess what? He still hasn't picked up his emergency kit. It's still there in the bush. But I bet you he'll eventually fly down to get that too. Looks like he's trying right now. I don't even know if he really needs his emergency kit now that he can fly. And that's the end of my story, Scaredy Squirrel. What do you think, Scaredy Squirrel? Are you better now? Uh-huh. Are you scared anymore? Uh-uh, not anymore. Yay, Scaredy, Scaredy Squirrel's not scared anymore because he can. Dun, 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 dun. He's a flying squirrel. He can fly now. I hope you liked my story of Scaredy Squirrel. Bye, friends.